<clears throat> heading right down buffer solution what is buffer solution first of all we need to understand this see there are few solutions like we have some examples in this which always tries to maintain its ph value right like if you add some amount of acid or base in that particular solution the ph change is not that great we'll have some change but the change is not that high very small change will be there like for example if you see uh if you look at the example of blood correct blood contains carbonate and bicarbonate buffer okay let me write down this blood is an example of buffer solution don't write in this way it is a buffer of carbonate and bicarbonate means we'll have the comb combination of this two present which forms a buffer solution ph value of blood if you see ph equals to we have 7.4 for blood it is slightly basic right slightly basic so this combination such a way it you know it works so that the blood ph is maintained at 7.4 by any means if the ph changes right you will have some you know health issue like you know you will get some fever or something like that so you need to maintain the ph of the blood again so for that you have to take some uh, in that case you need to take some medicine right so other examples also we have for buffer solution buffer solutions are the solutions which always try to maintains its buffer its ph value if you add some acid or base into buffer solution the change in ph is not that great it tries to there will be some equilibrium shift and it try to maintains its ph value i said that it tries to maintain right it's not like the ph change is not there but the ph change would be lesser than the change that would have occurred had it not been a buffer solution okay I means suppose you have a normal solution you have a buffer solution and if you add a small amount of acid or base into both solution then non buffer solution will produce more ph change right you will see ph change in non buffer solution will be more but in buffer solution it is very less that is what the meaning of this many examples we have like i said buffer blood is also an example of buffer solution in shampoo that we use you know to wash our hair shampoo also we have citric acid and sodium citrate shampoo like you see the example of shampoo because detergents contain some basic you know a uh, group or we can say it is slightly basic in nature so shampoo which contains citric acid or sodium citrate this is the buffer we have in this so it tries to maintain the ph of the uh, shampoo which is also slightly acidic this is slightly acidic in nature so we have other examples like enzymes also we have all the baby lotions they also have you know this kind of uh, a solution so that the ph will be maintained okay in textile industry if you see the dyeing processes use buffers to maintain the ph okay basically buffer we use to maintain the ph of the solution correct there will be some change in ph once you add acid and base but the change is not that great so write down first of all the definition of it buffer solution it is a solution which 
resist the change in pH. Resist the change in pH when a small amount of amount of acid or base is added to the solution. is called is called buffer solution copy down this first Okay, copied. Yeah, all of you finish this. I'll dictate you two points over here. Yeah, next line you write down. This does not mean that the pH will not change. This does not mean that the pH will not change. This does not mean that the pH will not change, but it means, but it means the change in pH, but it means the change in pH would be change in pH would be lesser than the change lesser than the change that would have occurred lesser than the change that would have occurred had it not been a buffer solution Yeah, I'll repeat again. Wait. This, just let me finish this. That would have occurred had it not been a buffer solution. Okay, I'm repeating the uh, whole sentence again. Uh, I said this does not mean that the pH will not change. But it means the change in pH the change in pH would be lesser than would be lesser than the change that would have occurred would be lesser than the change that would have occurred had it not been a buffer solution. A buffer solution. Copy all of you. Anybody want me to repeat again? Okay, I guess all of you have written. Fine. So this is the, you know, definition of buffer solution. Okay. Example, two examples I have given, you can write it down. Now, there are three types of buffer solution. Uh, mainly we have two, but there are totally there are three types. Heading write down. Types of
buffered solution. types of buffer solution buffer solution if you see we have a uh, three types total the first one is acidic buffer acidic buffer it is a solution of write down it is the solution of weak acid and its salt with strong base could you give me an example of this weak acid and its salt with a strong base any example could you give me Yes, CS3COOH and CS3COONA. Now, HCl and NH4OH is not possible because HCl is a strong acid and NH4OH is a weak base. But it is weak acid and it's salt with a strong base. Okay. So basically, if you have this reaction, for example, I have taken a weak acid, CS3COOH. Means the combination should be this CS3COH and CS3COONA. If this combination is present in the solution, then the solution behaves as a buffer solution. Understood? Yes, common ion is required. We'll discuss the mechanism. One second. Okay. This combination, if present in the solution, then the solution behaves as a buffer solution. Okay. Listen to me very carefully, all of you. Okay, here you will understand that why in salt hydrolysis, we are taking equal equivalents. Okay, how do we get this mixture? We can get this mixture if you take a weak acid, say CS3COOH, and a strong base, say NaOH, isn't it? If you have this reaction, then this two forms a salt which is CS3COONA and water H2O. Like this only we'll get this combination, isn't it? You need to take this acid CS3COOH with, NH with NaOH, isn't it? This is the way you should get that combination of CS3COOH and CS3COONA. Guys respond, right? Okay, now you see the same reaction we had discussed in case of salt hydrolysis of weak acid and strong base, isn't it? Same reaction was there, correct? So first of all, how do we differentiate that we need to take the condition of salt hydrolysis or we need to take the condition of buffer? Are you getting this, uh, the problem you are understanding, right? Because in the question you need to analyze first. They won't mention all the time that this is a buffer solution. Yes. So if the same reaction we have in case of salt hydrolysis and buffer solution, then how do we differentiate the two condition or two situation, whether it is an acidic buffer or it is in basic buffer, sorry, or it is in salt hydrolysis. So for acidic buffer, we know we must have this combination, isn't it? So this combination will be there when this is present in the reaction suppose takes place, uh, this NaOH gets neutralized completely. We have some amount of acid left and some amount of salt. Obviously it forms because the reaction is taking place. Right, so for this, the condition is what? The condition is the number of equivalents of acid here must be greater than the number of equivalents of base. So for this one, I'll write down for acidic buffer. For acidic buffer, the condition is NAVA should be more than NBVB. So that, so that this NaOH behaves as a limiting reagent 
it gets consumed completely and after the reaction gets over still we have ch3coh left in the solution and obviously when the reaction has been done already so some amount of salt is also present over there so we have the combination of this and this in the solution and in that case the solution is an acidic buffered solution is it clear to all of you is it clear to all of you all of you please uh, respond okay now you see if this is uh, like the condition for salt hydrolysis is what this two must be equal if this is equal then it will get neutralized completely we don't have acid or base left in the solution it is only salt and water so that's why we have salt hydrolysis case always over there but when we have this condition then it is an acidic buffer you need to apply the ph formula for acidic buffer solution i hope it is clear with all of you isn't it correct okay so if you want to find out the ph of this buffer solution we'll have the reaction here ch3 c o o h because h plus will get from this only no ch3 co h and ch3 co n a we have so we have only this reaction which gives h plus so we need to consider this only other one is salt right other one also i'll write down ch3 c o o n a gives c h3 c o o minus and n a plus you okay so in this two we don't have h plus so we cannot consider the second reaction you know to find out the ph uh, uh, expression so from the first one if i write down the expression of k this would be concentration of ch3 coo minus h plus divided by ch3 coh remember this cs3 co minus is the salt is coming from the salt only right because this two has one common ion so this will suppress the dissociation of this acid because of common ion effect and hence mostly this is present because of the dissociation of salt not because of acid okay because it is already a weak electrolyte dissociation is less and then also we have one common ion so this common ion also suppresses the dissociation of this so concentration of h plus if you get here this would be k into concentration of cs3 cooh concentration of ch3 coo minus if you solve this and calculate ph so ph i'll write down the formula here ph is equals to pka plus log of salt by acid you will get salt by acid so this is the expression of ph once you uh, got this thing that it is a buffer solution you have to apply this formula correct second point this value you see here log of this term this is the change in ph we have actually like i said the change in ph is very less so whatever the change if they ask you to find out the change you need to find out log of salt by acid we will discuss one questions on this in the next class not today because we have to discuss few more things but one or two problems we'll see you will understand how to do this okay but always keep this in mind acid the original ph is will get according to this k value but this k value is is not changing but because of the acidic buffer we'll have little bit change in ph and that change would be this and this no this is one second guys
Yeah. Yeah, I'll discuss about it. Wait one second. So this is the pH we have. See, this salt is CS3CO minus here. This is salt. Like I said, it is coming from the salt only. And this is acid. Just you take minus log both side, you will get this expression. You can try it. Take minus log both side, minus log of H plus is pH. This is minus log of K plus minus log of this. So if you revert it, you'll get minus log means you'll get plus log over here. You'll get the same expression. Think about it, you'll get it. Yes, that's what I said. This salt dissociates like this and this further won't let dissociate this weak electrolyte because CS3COH is a weak electrolyte. So this won't dissociate much initially. So hence we say that the CS3CO minus mostly it is present because of the dissociation of salt, not acid. So this CS3CO minus, we are considering this as salt and this is the acid only. We get this. Correct, understood? This equation, we call it as Henderson's equation. Not important, just a name. Henderson's equation. Okay, so this is the pH uh, calculation you can easily calculate from this pH of the solution. The question is next that how this buffer solution works. Like I said, it maintains the pH of the solution, tries to maintain. The change is not that great. So what happens? You consider this equation one over here. Mostly we have the change in this equation only. Once you add an acid, Acid you are adding means you are adding H plus. So since you are adding H plus, so this H plus is consumed by the CS3CO minus and it forms CS3CO as the first reaction goes in backward direction, right? And whatever extra H plus you have added that combines with CS3CO minus forms weakly ionized CS3COOH. Hence the extra H plus that you have given, it gets consumed and pH will be maintained. Further, the dissociation of this is not possible because this common ion effect over here, right? So what we can write here, you see, just two more points here. On addition of acid, on addition of acid, which means H plus we are adding, the first reaction first reaction goes in backward direction. Backward direction and forms, forms weakly ionized CS3COH which can't dissociate further, which can't dissociate further due to common ion effect. Common ion effect. So what happens, we are assuming CS3CO minus is present because of salt and the reaction is going in backward direction. So salt concentration here decreases once you add acid and acid concentration increases. We'll discuss a question next class on this as you finish this theory. Okay, how to do the question, we'll discuss that. Right, salt concentration will decrease because CS3CO minus is taking H plus and forming acid, right? So this is the direction we have. If you add a base over here, means OH minus on addition of of base, OH minus. Again, the first reaction goes in forward direction.
goes in forward direction 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 okay so in this it is ulta salt concentration will get more amount of cscco minus salt concentration increases acid concentration decreases okay copy this down first okay is so all the biology students you just wait for uh, two more minutes i need to talk uh, uh, a bit regarding the syllabus right don't go like any one of you just let me finish this first okay but biology students hold on for five more minutes okay this is done all of you copied this okay see here uh, so once you add base so base oh minus will take this h plus and forms h2o so this reaction goes in forward direction forms more amount of salt and acid concentration decreases okay so we'll talk about it again in the next class when we discuss the question okay did you understand this all of you is clear okay so we'll continue with this next class buffer few more things we need to discuss okay so those who want to leave you can leave now biology students is just uh, i want to know from you that what is the you know your portion left uh, in uh, bio 